I am with Kevin Frost here, deaf, blind individual and also a great athlete. This is his dog, Woody, his helper dog. And unfortunately, there was an incident in Orleans, Ontario last week yes. where, uh, where Woody was attacked. And you haven't really got justice on this matter, unfortunately. So on October 4th at around 5.57 p.m., uh, my wife had taken Woody on leash for a walk on a city sidewalk on St. George Boulevard. And out of nowhere, probably a 120-pound German Shepherd ran up a 250 feet hill and lodged onto Woody. And Loretta had Woody on leash and possibly 15 to 20 bites were on uh, Woody. Needs to say that was a pretty panic motion for Loretta. And gratefully for the pedestrians and the drivers pulled over to, to accommodate uh, uh, Loretta and Woody. But what was more disturbing was the owner who came up from the, uh, the German Shepherd, just took his dog off and walked away. He didn't show any concern to Loretta and Woody at the time. So that made it a very disturbing uh, issue. So to continue, we uh, did approach the owner and he wasn't very cooperative. He was just more concerned about his own. But going forward, the Ottawa bylaw was informed, the Ottawa police was informed, the city council were informed. So we were able to get a statement out to to uh, get tickets issued. He was issued with two tickets, one at large, one at with no leash. Unfortunately, what did that amount to? Uh, so the fine amount, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I'm thinking $75 and $50. I'm not 100% sure. My message to everybody out there, just make sure your dog's on a leash. As you can see what happened with Woody, Woody had an infection from a bite. What was the vet bill? My for vet bill just over $400. And, and unfortunately, uh, these kind of matters, bylaw said you have to go to small claims or civil. And the main cost, thing yeah. here is, I just would like apologies from this guy for this behavior because it could happen again. It could, he could take an, attack another dog or another child. That so you know really the guy's be. name? Sorry? Do you know the guy's name? No, they live in Orleans off of Trappist Lane in Orleans. So unfortunately, uh, he doesn't feel what happened, I guess. It's not a big, big deal. And you do have a book about your athletics. Uh, do you want to tell us where people could buy that to close yes, this? So up? I have a book uh, on Amazon and Barnes and Noble it's called Deafblind Champion. Uh, which fast and it talked about all my endeavors in, in the sporting industry. I'm a multi-sport athlete. Uh, this year, I won uh, Canadians in blind golf, provincials in blind golf. We won match play in Ontario and came third in Western. It's been a great year. So all the book sales, uh, which is exciting, goes back to the Service Guide Dog School.